Good morning. Good morning, good morning. What's up, everybody? Starting just a little bit early today because I have got to wrap it up a little bit early. Um, what's up? Morning? Afternoon? Good evening? Where the heck ever you are? Um, as a caveat to starting the stream today, uh, this will be not in ZBrush uh, 2018, but it will be in uh, 4R8. Just to let everybody know off the bat, <clears throat> uh, good old 4R8 is what we're going to start with today. Hey, yo. What's up? Um, okay. A couple of things. So, last week we started uh, doing some refinement on this dude's face. Uh, if you're the first time here, this is the guy that I've been working on for a while. This is um, fan art for Horizon Zero Dawn, the Osirum Guard. And concept is by Adrian Wilkins. Freaking awesome, awesome concept. Um, yeah, I've been working on this guy for a long time. <laughs> Quite a while. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, la uh, last, last time on Brennan Does ZBrush, we, um, we started doing some refinement to the face. and Just some, um, refining some of the secondary details. Uh, you can get a, a look at, we worked on the left side, didn't work on the right side. So this is kind of a, a progress shot. <clears throat> a lot of, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, a little bit more refinement on some of the secondary forms. And uh, we're going to either keep pushing this today and then jump into uh, the other side to show you kind of what the thought process is and some of those uh, those uh, important points. So uh, those of you actually that are here right now, um, take a quick little poll uh, and then just throw something in the chat. Um, either uh, I want to work on the face or actually want to start his weapon. So I'm interested to what you guys are interested in interesting. <laughs> um, would you rather see me block out and then kick this weapon out? Um, ho hopefully in a couple hours? Or would you be interested in um, continuing the face? I'm, I'm happy to do either one. Okay, we got one for Harry Face. What's up, Harry? Harry Mandibles. The face. Oh, you guys are... Switched it. Weapon, 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 weapon. You're like, dude, I've seen faces before, bro. <clears throat> Weapons. Alright, I'm, I'm feeling you guys are leaning towards the weapon. <laughs> we got one for face. I think I think I'm leaning towards the hammer. It'd be cool to see a block out real quick, right? It's pretty it'll be pretty quick to to get this rolling too. It won't be it won't be too crazy. Let's do let's let's do the let's do the weapon. The weapon wins. Yes, uh Hannibal, the, on my last stream, um, I did this portion of the face. So you can definitely go back and, and take that. Seeing how I start something. Yeah, it's always really good to see. And that's kind of what I was guessing. I really wanted to do the weapon at some point anyway, so let's do that. Alright. <clears throat> no pressure now, jeez. Gosh, you guys. <laughs> well, what? Welcome, uh, Oni, uh, Oni Steven W. I am horrible at, um, Twitch names, so you have to apologize if, um, I completely murder your Twitch name. 
<laughs> okay, all right, let's do that then. Um, so usually what I like to do is I'll grab uh, some of the reference, and then I'll throw it um, behind my ZBrush window. And I use this feature a lot, this see-through window up here. So a lot of times if I have um, something that's fairly close to ortho, um, I'll use this just to get the overall size, make sure things are good. All right, uh, so usually what I'll do is I'll just, um, I think I'm just going to append a cylinder first. Grab this dude. Um, also, usually if I'm designing something off the bat and it's going to be somewhat a uh, geometrical shape, I try to keep it in the middle. So that way if I need to do any kind of symmetry, um, I can and do it pretty quick. Um, maybe for honor. I guess I could see that dude living there as like one of the little peasant fighter dudes. <laughs> so I'm just going to block out the staff real quick. get this we are in perspective so actually let's jump out of perspective real quick let's see how big this thing is so like if he was uh to stand this straight up it'd probably be you know around to his mouth right let's say i'm just gonna go down here probably something like that just want to now. I want to get the thickness. Maybe something like that. Cool. Got the shaft. Bro, you totally got shafted. And then now let's uh, grab the hammerhead. And then I think what I do, I may do, is actually uh, may construct it sideways now nah, do it front oh, what the hell all right so then usually I'll just grab it another just append a cube grab this dude Craig what's up dude what are you doing Things are good, man. Things are very good. Um, hold on one sec, guys. Oh, yeah, the Viking, the Raider. Yeah, that's cool, man. The um, I I love the uh, the art for for honor. Kenyon, what's up, buddy? How you doing? All right, so let's get this into. Okay, watch it work. All right, I'll be. We'll be quiet. All right, let's just get this into about the right shape, right? This weapon's actually going to be pretty easy. Non-textured? Um, uh, Ice-D, are you talking about just the high-res sculpt? Yeah, no problem, Indy. Good to catch you, bro. All right. Um, 
question is, do I want this to be the same piece as this? And I don't think that I want to do that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to create that this is an extra piece up here. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just um, duplicate this guy. And we'll just take him up here like this. So this way I can keep the same consistency of location and uh, thickness. That's why I just wanted to duplicate that guy real quick. Ready to texture and export. Let's say for Mari. Um, so what you're saying is your low res and UVs are done. Right, ISD? Nice count. Appreciate it, buddy. So this looks like it may be just a touch longer. Let's go with that. And then let's see how this feels. Um, <clears throat> that looks about... That looks about right. Just for the general size and proportion. Okay, let's go with that. Um, so let's say for for this guy, uh, it would probably be um, at at least say eight to ten hours a day, um, five days a week as normal job. High res sculpt probably two to three weeks, um, and then retopo and UV another week or two. So you're looking at four or five weeks probably. Is is usually for you know AAA pipeline. I'd say about about a month and a half total um, gamma rays ready. Okay. So let's grab this dude. It looks like there's a little bit of a taper. All right, let's see what this looks like. Actually, I think that's fine. And then what I'm going to do is uh, for this part back here, I'm just going to uh, use a boolean. And then we can just get right to work. We'll just die to my shit and get to get to sculpting. Um, all right. So then, usually, what I'll do is we'll grab this dude. We'll grab a brush, insert, grab primitive. I'm just gonna get a cylinder. Doesn't really matter. It's just gonna draw it on there like this. All right, do split unmask points so that we can split this piece off. Uh, we're going to start here, and then we're going to make this a boolean, turn on my live booleans, and then boom. So it doesn't look like it curves down at all in the back. So I want to make sure that my high point is on the end there. You want to grab this dude, reset this, and then just pull this back. And I think we can make it just a little bit bigger, and then we'll pull it down. Maybe something like that. I actually think that this may be out a little bit too far, so we're going to grab this dude, set that back to the re to the center. I'm just going to pull this in just a touch. All right. Now that I have that live, we can take a look. And I feel like, actually, the majority of the weight probably should be closer to the middle of this. So I'm actually going to bring this dude back. here 
and bring this guy back a little bit. So it looks like the majority of the weight is centered on the pole. I feel good about that. You guys feel good about that? All right. Um, usually what I'll do for uh, the boolean is if I want just one particular piece finished, um, I'll just go over to uh, the star tool and then append in the two pieces. All right, grab that piece, come back over to my tool, grab this piece. His hair is gone. That's weird. Go back over to this piece, append this piece in, delete that. Yep, that's fine. Start the boolean again. Well, we want that reversed actually. Let's do that. Let's do this. Like that. All right, and then we can do make boolean. All right, so that gives me a new mesh there. Go back over to my original, append in the new one, and then boom, there we go. So let's turn that off, and then there we go. All right, so if we look at this, that's what I got. I don't really care about the geo right now because uh, I'm just going to dynamesh it because we're going to sculpt it out. Maybe actually we could do a little bit thinner. It's just a touch thinner. What's up, Bloxby? How you doing, buddy? Okay. Oops. Let's grab this dude. We're going to... Uh, let's just draw in the cube. No, let's append another cube real quick. Good to hear, man. Good to hear. Actually, you know what? Uh, yeah, let's do that. That's fine. So we're going to grab this dude. Bring him up. We're just going to get this this little piece, this little wedge chunk in here. What's up, Pro? How you doing, man? Actually, you know what I want to do is I want to make this... Um, Let's make this a polycube. There we go. Mostly because I want to. I could just really quickly get simple geo with the poly with the uh, polycube. Go back to my gizmo. And now I've got clean geo. So I want to just change the shape real quick. All right, so we grab just these ones. And now I can just change that shape real quick. Yeah, for me, um, I, I usually don't care about the geo to start off with uh, unless I'm doing like hard surface stuff then I may I may care but for the most part um, I, I don't care too much okay and then let's grab these ones And they'll make a little bit of a wedge shape here. There we go. Uh, no, I don't retopo in ZBrush. Uh, I do all my retopo in Moto. Retopo in UV in Moto. 
for me it's just quicker. Okay, so we'll make this a little bit smaller, bring that down. Cool. See how that looks. Okay, good. Um, so usually after after I just do the super super quick block out. Actually, let's do this. What is this looking like? Oh look, he's got a purple beard. <laughs> I think we should stick with the purple beard. Looks like he um just got back from uh, GDC. <laughs> That was funny. Yes, not long until uh, ZBrush 2018. I actually got to do uh, some beta work on it. That was fun. That was a, that was a lot of fun. Let's do. We're gonna grab this guy, and then uh, let's duplicate him again. And again, I'm just doing it for the the uh, consistency of the size. It's a little bit smaller. And then we'll increase the size just a little bit. Cool. All right, let's roll. Um, so usually what I do is after I get to this blockout stage, um, if I ever need to go back to this, um, I want to make sure that I, I can. So I'll just dupe it real quick. So I'll dupe this. I usually take my original, throw it down to the bottom, and turn it off. Now let's come back to this guy. This was my original, so let's do that. Grab this dude, bring him down to the bottom. There we go. Okay, so those are my original booleans. Grab this dude, bring him all the way down there. Okay, so now I got it. I now I got a dupe. All right. So this is my original duplicate here. Don't need that anymore. Then let's just uh, let's just do some Dynamesh here. I usually start off with like ten twenty four. See what that gives me. That's way too much. Way too much. Try 128. Not enough. 512. Yeah, that might be okay. And let's just start beating the heck out of this thing. Yeah, 11 a.m. Pacific today, um, ZBrush 2018 goes live. I don't know about you guys, but I am stoked. I, actually, you guys want to see a couple of the uh, couple of the projects I worked on? Um, this one I did. So this was all uh, we did like this sphere challenge where um, we had to start with just a ball and then use the uh, Sculptors Pro to uh, sculpt directly from the ball. And then this is... the wireframe, right? So you can see the original uh, topology is still intact from the... Um, from the, uh, the sphere. So basically we just extruded right from there and then um, just sculpted right from there. So much fun. It's freaking crazy. A couple of the other ones I did. Uh, this one. 
Yes, this is a free update for 2018. <laughs> that was pretty fun. Some work in progress stuff. And then this is the first one that I did. So just did uh, just a super quick sculpt from, I think it just started from a sphere. And then um, just went in and sculpted the crap out of it. It was so much fun. It was so um, liberating to not care about the... Um, the topology at all. <laughs> Marcelo! What's up, buddy? So it was fun. Nice, guys. Yeah, we'll, we'll see where Dynamesh still lives. There'll still be a place for Dynamesh. I'm sure there will. What was really cool is um, once you start getting to a place where it's getting pretty dense, um, all you have to do is just uh, decimate the model um, at a relatively decent um, resolution, and then just keep sculpting on off your decimated. Uh, Bluxby, this releases in five hours, four hours and forty-five minutes, eleven a.m. Pacific. Yeah, that was fun. Anywho, all right. Let's get rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. I think we could just get in and start mashing this dude up. I wish I had Sculptus right now. That would be really good for this. Alright. Um, so from here, I usually just do uh, Trim Dynamic. And we'll just get in here and start kind of... I'm not going to use Symmetry because I, I really want to uh, make sure it has enough character uh, by touching all of these corners by hand. So I usually do this at a, at a lower decimation. That <laughs> looks like me. <laughs> what are you trying to say? I'm just kidding. For so, for a piece that's this small too, I don't I like I don't mind just hacking it up real quick all all by hand. Um, I think it adds a little bit more realism to it, less fakey. fakery. Yes, now is the time. If you don't have ZBrush, now is the time because the, uh, the price is going up. Which is understandable. I mean, these guys have get. I can't believe that they're still given free upgrades. I, 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 it's mind boggling. Mind boggling. <laughs> yep, they, um, they're givers, man. They're givers. I, I, I can't. Tell you guys how awesome those people are over there. Well, you, you guys know. <laughs> you guys know. I feel like we can... James, what's up, buddy? I feel like 700 euro a few years ago, pricey. But, yeah, I bought mine, like, I don't know four or five years ago at, at 800 US dollars and um, best money spent I'm just gonna pull that in a little bit just to give that sucker a little bit more character
Let me check something real quick. Marcellus Wallace? Did you change your name? Marcellus Wallace? Is that you, Marcellus Wallace? My old buddy, my old dear friend. Dude! <laughs> wow. It's been too long, sir. It has been too long. Marcellus Wallace has been around for a very long time, guys. He was a... Uh, he was he was one of one of the uh, first guys that hung out with me when I started streaming. Like I don't know, what is it like twenty years ago now? Ah, <laughs> oh, it's good to see you, man. How are you, Marcella? Let me just do some of these big pieces here. Marcellus Wallace. All right, and then uh, I think so. I think what we'll do is just just do the initial um, state here, and then um, I feel like we're good to kind of move up. I'm I'm happy with the uh, the overall proportion and just the um, the major forms. So let's move forward. So let's um, let's do this. Get me an evil on your ass. <laughs> oh man, I've been I've been I've been doing awesome. I've been doing awesome. Life's good, brother. Uh let's see, do I want to keep doing Dynamesh? Yeah, let's keep doing Dynamesh for a little bit. Uh so let's go up to let's say ten twenty four. Okay. So usually again, um I usually say this a lot, but whenever I go up on in Dynamesh, um, I like just doing a quick clay polish on it and just clean up some of those um, um, some of those forms a little bit. Let's clear the mask. I think we're good to roll. Keep moving. Keep moving, bro. All right. I think what I want to do before we do that, let's actually. I want to keep some of these on layers just in case I want to go back. Um, this is just in case uh, you know my art director comes by and you're like, nah, I don't, I don't like that. Um, I don't like that pit right there. I don't like this particular one. Take that back out. So instead of having to resculpt that out real quick, I'm just going to. Um, Let's dupe this real quick. And then let's just do a zero mesher on it. Um, I usually get kind of the best results that I like with uh, 20 and 20 for adaptive size and curve strength. And then what I'll do is I'll usually just start with half. <laughs> I wish it was me. No, I had to um, had to do 2018 today because it doesn't come out for another four or five hours. As uh, so when you are done with the weapon, is it still multiple separate pieces, or do you combine them? Um, I'll I combine them uh, when I do the retopo, and then just bake it that way. Okay, cool. So then, that's a decent start, and then let's just divide a couple of times. 
So I'm not doing any more major form uh, pieces. So like just those small little details, um, I can go ahead and and um, do in a subdivided. <laughs> yeah, get on that one, James. Do it. So anyways, I'm not doing any big form changes, so I don't mind just using um, a subdivided mesh now. That way I can go in and create some layers. All right, so this one will be um, overall damage. All right, so let's go back and clean up some of these forms a little bit. All right, so now I can start getting some good details in here. So I've got, got enough geo now to support it. <laughs> Marcelo, man, what do you what have you been up to, dude? Feel like it's been forever. You still doing uh still doing some work? Still arting it up? And how about the rest of you guys? Uh, what what um, I know most of you guys were probably here for uh, the uh, ZBrush announcement yesterday. What was what was your favorite? Uh, what was your favorite part of the upgrade? What are you guys most excited to try out? Good to hear, Marcella. Dude, if you ever need feedback or anything, man, send it on over. Always happy to help, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited for the new deformers, too. Okay, so overall damage, I think we're okay. Let's add a new one. We'll call this, uh, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Two, whatever. <laughs> Dude, the sculpture's feature is uh, so cool. I've never felt so lib liberated uh, to just sculpt. Let's add a couple of large dings. In these areas here. <laughs> Dynamic tessellation is pretty cool. <laughs> I gotta say. Oh, Harry, dude. Yeah, you gotta go back and watch it, man. Gotta go back and watch it. Just gonna try to get a little bit of breakup through here. And then probably what I'm gonna do is just grab some alphas. And get jumping in. Whoa. Polygrip is really can be really really powerful. Smooth a little bit of that out, just adding some a little bit of variation in here. Give it some character. 
let's go back with the trim kind of what's pretty cool with with the trim is um if I come back and just do like some of this stuff just do a quick um, smooth on it and then go back at the trim and really kind of just catch some of this get some really really cool shapes going on Um, you can get, it can get a little bit laggy, uh, when you get like higher resolution and you really kind of get rolling and, <clears throat> but all you have to do is just decimate it if you want. And I can actually bring a little bit of this back by, um, doing alt and trim dynamic will actually bring the surface back up. So I can get kind of like this really cool, like fill in. Or if I just want to. All right, so this is how you just kind of start layering up some of these kind of nice details. Yeah, when so uh, if if you got um, a lot of a lot of polys. Um, it can get it can get a little bit laggy. It's actually pretty good though. It's actually pretty good. Uh, but all you have to do is just decimate it, um, and then continue rolling. It's pretty quick and easy. Uh, let's turn my Z intensity down a little bit. Just gonna take the bite off of that a little. Grab back to my trim dynamic. Just start pulling these. Uh, yeah, man, it actually, um, I didn't really have a whole lot of, um, I didn't really have a whole lot of crashes, even in, even in the beta build. And maybe I'll grab uh, some damn standard here. And just do, let's turn off lazy mouse though, yeah. Uh, does it have the reduced mesh brush? Yeah, that's what the smooth brush does. So I love how this um, trim dynamic brush can give you some really nice edges across some... Some like... Um, Man, my words are not working. I need some more coffee. That's what I need. Jesus, my words are just not working this morning. Trim dynamic across damn standard. You can give you some nice cool results. <laughs> Alright, so that's cracking. Feel like that's that's in a decent spot for now, and let's start moving on to these pieces. Um, I'm I'm still in four or eight right now, Kenyon. Um, I would, I don't know, I would, I would also think that the surface noise is, uh, is separate. Um, I don't think they would, 
work because the surface noise until you actually um, apply it to the mesh right if you're down here on surface unless you do apply to mesh it doesn't it like basically goes over everything um, <clears throat> so you could do you could do you can have the noise on and then sculpt like underneath it I guess you could say um, so that that still should work I'll just add a little bit of noise over here. I think I'm on a roll on this, so I just want to... I'm going to keep rolling on this guy for just for a couple minutes here. Just some overall noise. Just a quick smooth over that, and then we'll uh, full the trim dynamic. Just kind of pull some of that out. It's really about like when you when you're creating a, an interesting surface. It's really about combining a couple of different tools together in a interesting way that gives you cool results. You know. And then probably the next step I would I would come in and do some um some alphas in here. Start getting some of the tertiary detail on the surface. Either that or I, I may actually wait until um materials. You know, so I may just do some of the secondary forms and then wait for the materials um to do the rest. But Consider I'm not going to be doing that anytime soon. We'll go ahead and make it look super dope. How about that? Uh, Mo Modi, yeah, usually the um, all the summits have been live on Twitch. But I would highly, highly suggest if you can make it, go. It's such a great event to go to. I make sure that um, I have time every single year to go to the um, to the Zebra Summit in person. There's so many great artists and great people just hanging out in a small venue that it just you don't really get that anywhere else. Even though like you can see all of the the courses and talks and stuff online, um, it it there's no way that it beats actually being there. Let's do a quick smooth. Take some of the bite off of that. Go back to my trim dynamic. It's also important if you're if you're doing multiple portions um, of of a look feel for a particular piece that you stay try to stay consistent with your methodology. Um, that will give you a consistent look across the across the piece. So now we're getting some of that nice surface variation. Oh, yeah, well that 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 may do it, okay now. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. We're going to turn on ghosting. And then what I'm going to do is uh let's actually let's create a new layer. Call this the hole. Or just hole. Um, so we'll create some of this chiseled lookout. Through here. Um... Three and a half hours until ZBrush uh, 2018 goes live. Danny Mac. Oh, Mac. What's up, buddy? Yeah, about four and a half hours. How are you doing, Danny? 
What's up, buddy? Are you so excited? Are you excited for 2018, dude? As I'm, I'm pretty excited. All right, so let's do. Man, I can't wait. Just, just to be able to sculpt in um, the sculptress mode is just so, so good. So good. So let's do uh, some kind of like bigger pieces through here. Like um, it's been chipped out a little bit. Very inconsistent. Maybe a couple cracks go through here. <clears throat> Danny, what was your... Um, what piece... What... What features are you most excited about being from a more stylized point of view? Man, my voice is going. Holy cow. It's early in the morning, too. Oh, I know, King's Letter. Oh, I know. A ton. Answer is, it's a ton. Do a little trim dynamic on here. <clears throat> you know what? I'm interested. Let's see if we can... Let me just break this up a little bit see what that does. Eh, that's kind of cool. Doesn't fit, though. <laughs> right. Dude, the, the curves, the updates to the curves is so good. So good. Now, this is kind of giving some interesting bite. Are you putting together your tutorials already? Or at least a list of the tutorials that you want to do, Danny? <laughs> yeah, the, the curve stuff was... I didn't really get a chance to play with the curves very much during beta. But man. Man. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, let's see what this is looking like here. All right, got a little bit of integration going on. Okay, let's go back up to this one. I add a little bit more surface detail. It's always fun to watch um, how other people uh, change up their workflow every time new stuff comes out from ZBrush. It's just there's so much creativity to just the thought processes behind how you're doing things. Uh, it's just it's awesome to see how like other people wrap their brains around it, you know. Okay, I'm gonna go back and trim dynamic here. Start pulling some of this back. Nice and look at that nice surface variation. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be running out of stuff anytime soon, dude. <laughs> mm. 
Nothing anytime soon. Actually, let's go. Let's go back to no alpha here. Like it's slipping away from us a little bit. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Let's move on to other pieces here. You know what? Let's save it. I have not saved yet. Save it. <laughs> I know, I try not to be grumpy at this time in the morning. Uh, today I started at 5.50 a.m. What's up, CG Ghost? J CG Ghost? JC Ghost? And sometimes my words don't work very well, so it is early in the morning for me. Let's grab this dude. Um, again, let's... Let's grab this guy and bring him down. Grab this guy. That's what I do for you guys. That's what I do. So I can give back. <laughs> Alright, so let's uh let's dupe this guy. We'll take the original and let's just move him down. Turn him off. Grab this dude. And then let's dynamish. Not 128. That's not going to work. Let's try 1024. That's good enough. <laughs> it's more of a bedtime. It used to be my bedtime. Back in the my bartending days, I'd probably be going to sleep at about 4:30. All right, so let's let's just start grabbing this. Let's do some inconsistencies here. We got. Thanks, CG. I I think I I'm, I'm starting to dig his pur purple beard. Actually, <laughs> I'm really starting to dig his purple beard. All right, so we got a little bit of a wedge. That's good. Let's um let's go ahead and just clean this up a little bit before. Actually, you know what? No, let's not. Let's not clean it up. Twitch theme beard. <laughs> yeah. Total Twitch theme beard. Um let's let's increase this. Let's try twenty forty eight. That's better. That'll give me at least a little bit to work with. Let's turn on ghosting. Um, ghosting is really, really awesome for, uh, times like this where you need to sculpt underneath something and still need, still need to see it. Whereas if you don't have ghosting on, like your, your stroke doesn't go underneath whatever is there, right? If there's another sub tool, uh, if you want to know how to turn that on, you just do, oh, where is it? Transparent and then ghosting on. So I just, uh, I map this to a quick key for me. So for me, uh, V is uh, solo, and then shift V is um, is uh, ghosting. That way I can get in here, I know where this piece stops, and I can still sculpt underneath it. Get some of these forms coming in through here.
Then we get some of that wood splintering. Works awesome, man. Dude, the project we're working on is so much freaking fun, man. You have to do Avenger shit all day. <laughs> so good, dude. So much fun. So much fun. But it's a lot of work, dude. <laughs> fucking shit ton of work, man. So much work. But it's awesome, dude. It's 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 really good. How about you, Danny? Are you are you still doing mostly um freelance stuff or are you, are you in a studio now? Or what are you what's it, what are you up to? <laughs> I've been working on my evil laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, my daughter will do evil laughs uh, back and forth. She calls it my Gargamel laugh. Daddy Gargamel. <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> I know some there's sometimes where I'm just like, I mean, it would be kind of fun to be a voice actor. I mean, that's a lot of work. A lot of work. Man, that'd be, that'd be kind of fun. You know, you just you're like, what do you do? I'm a I'm a voice actor. I do evil laughs. <laughs> <laughs> to work with somebody else that i do i'm uh i'm so happy that um that you're able to to make that work dude because it's it's great to uh to have awesome artists being able to to do tutorials and stuff um and make a living from it it's great to see that that that's working <laughs> New Andy Circus. <laughs> um, it depends. Anukira, uh, Kakira. Um, there's there's a bunch of different ways to do it. Uh, probably the the easiest way. It's it's a little bit too too much to go into it at this point. Um, but there's different programs for baking. Basically, you just take your high-res mesh and your low-res mesh that's overlapping in 3D space, and then you use a program to bake it. Um, if you just do a quick YouTube search uh, for uh, baking high-res to low-res meshes, uh, you'll get like 50 gajillion of them. You got us, Danny. You got us. You start twiddling your fingers while doing the evil laugh. <laughs> um, how do you understand dynamic subdivision? And how is it different from regular subdivision? Um, are you talking about the dynamic dynamesh? Um, you can you can do baking in ZBrush, but only from subdivided. Um, so if this is so, let's say if if this piece had subdivisions on it and it had UVs on the lowest, um, you could subdivide it up, do all the details, and then bake it all the way down, um, and then it'll create uh, a normal map for you. So you could you could actually bake it right here. But that's for only if you have subdivision levels. You can't do from one separate high-res mesh to a separate low-res mesh. Yeah, um, I usually do all my baking in Marmoset. Marmoset's freaking amazing. Marmoset Toolbag 3, to be exact. Uh, so basically... Um, I can't. I mean, I can't show you because I don't have 
2018, but if you... Whoa, where did you go? Easy there, buddy. Easy there. Where is my... I got a bad feeling with what's going on right now. There we go. Basically, if you have this, you can go into your deformers and then you'll have a, um, like a, I think what they call it is a dynamic tessellation, but it's a lot more of like a dynamic dynamesh. And what that does is, uh, it gives you, um, some deformers here, not like this, but, uh, it'll give you one of these cones that, uh, lets you set the poly count. So that as you drag this out to more polys and let go, it'll automatically do the the uh, dynamesh based on what uh, that amount you set as. So as you move it out and let it go, it'll redo it, and then you can bring it back in to like a lower one, and it will redynamesh. Or so you, it's the this is the dynamic part is you'll be able to grab the cone and change that to a different um, poly count and it will automatically adjust it whenever you let go of the cone. <clears throat> that's what I'm I'm that's what I'm assuming uh you're talking about. Um okay, so let's do that. This pe that's not it, but thank you. <laughs> okay. You you're welcome. We've got that blocked out. Let's go to this dude. Let's dynamesh this guy. We'll call it 1024. Before we do that, I also want to duplicate this dude. I'll send him to the bottom. I'm going to turn him off. And just go back to this guy right here. We'll do Dynamesh. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's just sculpt this out. Uh, this one I'm going to do... Symmetry on first. <laughs> Get to work on it. X9 or K9, do it, man. I know I, it was it was the same way for me for a while. I was working at uh, Apple, and I, I saw um, that's when I was like hanging out and actually in Danny Max uh, streams a lot. I was, I was at Apple, just losing my soul, watching other people do awesome stuff. I was like, you know what? I need to I need to get back. I need I need to do it. Smooth this dude out. Maybe we'll just do some move. feel better about myself. I was like, watch Danny. Danny work. <laughs> <coughs> no, nah, man. Yeah, those 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 are fun days, dude. You uh you helped me through my uh my Apple time. Those are dark days, man. Dark days. Uh, just do a little bit of refining here. A 
little bit of a hard surface edge. Cool. Dude, so that was... So, how long ago was that? I, I'm actually curious. Uh, I really focus on environments, weapons, but characters truly where the passion is. Yeah, man. Dude, if you got the passion, do it. If you got the passion, do it. Otherwise, you never forgive yourself. Um, but make sure that you can still s sustain life. That's also important. It's going to bring this down more. Let's do that. Looks good. Two and a half years? Good look. Nah. Is that that long? What's up, pre-drag? You know, man. All right. And then um, what I'm going to do for these uh, little bolt things is well, let's take a look real quick. Let's see how let's see how we're doing. All right. I'm feeling okay. Feeling good. Feeling good. Oh crap, man. Yeah, it's funny, I do the same thing. I'm like, well, my daughter wasn't there was there was pre daughter, so it's uh it's gotta be like, you know, at least three years old. <laughs> What's up, Mousy's back? You know, man. Alright, so then um for these bolts I'm just gonna do some uh insert cylinders here. So let's uh make sure we're on symmetry. That's fine. We're gonna go brush insert, brush insert. Grab this. Let's just grab a sphere and see what this does. And what we can do is we can play with this depth here. This will make it nice and easy. <laughs> What's popping? What is poppin'? Actually, you know what? You know what I want to do is actually to make sure that these are the same size. If you hold down um, a control, it'll snap to the brush size. So this is what, this is actually what I want to do. So I'm gonna change my brush size down to a decent level. The way I can make sure uh, that these pieces are are the same. These nuts are the same size. Uh, I feel like I need to be a little bit, a little bit bigger. Let's say maybe twelve. Too big. Uh, let's say ten. I think we actually go a little bit further in bed too. That feels about right. These nuts. Then we could just use our move to kind of move these around a little bit. And then what we could do is let's clear the mask. Let's do this. We'll do a split hidden. Grab these dudes. And now we can adjust here. So if I do um, the move tool, if they're different uh, poly groups, if I hold down Control and click, it'll do um, auto masking based on your poly group. So let's reset that and let's move this dude a little bit. Clear the mask, and then let's actually bring these guys in just a little bit. Poly groups. Dude, that was hilarious yesterday. P A U L Y groups. That was funny. Okay. Good. 
good, we're good. All right, let's do some. Let's do some straps. Let's do some straps. How are we gonna do straps? How do you guys feel about straps? Let's make sure that the straps are on the. All right, actually, you know what? We need to do this little bottom cap piece down here. Let's do that first. So I'm on this dude. Just to keep consistent size, we're going to duplicate this guy. I'm going to bring this all the way down. Just do size up real quick. Um, you can do straps a couple of different ways. Um, I usually do it with um, polygroups and the slice. Let's see, how big is that little piece down there? Uh, it's a fairly decent size. Let's make it a little bit. Yeah, no, straps wait for a couple hours. <laughs> right? Okay, so now we got the little pommel thing down there. All right, all right, it's coming along, it's coming along. <laughs> Poly boots, yep. No, we got um, four hours. Four hours until the new one's available. So let's look at about where. So I don't really, so here's the thing. I don't really have um, a particular way of doing straps, so I'm just going to figure it out as as we go. So, uh, yeah. This is, this is four years. <laughs> this will be experimental time. I think what I'm going to do is, is use the slice curve brush. All right, so let's duplicate this guy first. Let's throw him to the bottom. Let's turn that dude off. Switch to another one. Switch back to this one. That's the correct one. All right, so here's here's what I think I'm going to do. Um, if we hold down... There we go. If you hold down uh, Shift Alt Space, you can get your brush radius. What that's going to do is it's going to create um, this, right? Based on your brush radius, it will create a separate group. So if I want consistent straps, I usually will do this: um, Control Alt Space and use brush radius, and then that way. I can go in and do, um, you know, stuff like this. So I may, I may go do one round like this. And then um, maybe edge loop. Let's see what this does. Nope, not that one. Ten loops. All right, so then let's let's isolate. Yes, sir. Got to pay attention with this one. Come on. Okay, let's say that this is the one. So what I would do maybe is um, flip that Split hidden. 
Alright, go back to this one. Undo all this. There's probably easier ways to do this, but whatever. Alright, I gotta go back to this guy. And then let's see if I could just do some quick uh, panel loops. Alright, look at that. Straps. Maybe just do that a couple of times, and then we'll go back in uh, with our um, move brush and just kind of get those moving around. Um, but I want to change this a little bit. I don't want bevel. Maybe we'll do just a touch of bevel. I don't want a bunch of loops. Polish can go down to like maybe a one. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, it's good. Maybe maybe a little too thick. We get a good um. A good flow here and then it should go pretty quick all right so it's really cool that you could just do things this way all right so then now let's go back and then yeah let's go back to our slash brush It would be easier to create a torus around a pole. Nah. I think this would be quicker and easier. I mean, you can, if you want. Let's actually turn on, um, oh yes, yeah, Control-Alt-Space is the one. So Control-Alt-Space will bring up this little guy. And I think probably Apply Poly Group might be better too. You can try it with that too. We'll try that on the next one. Uh, let's go down to Display Properties and turn this on to Double so we can see what the hell we're doing. Hmm. Sure, man. Uh, what if you need to create straps around the character? Same way? Uh, it depends. I mean, you may want to do... Um, you could just do, like, uh, a mask and use extract. That'd be a good way. Or you can use... Usually what I do for um, straps around a character is I'll use this one, the Curve Strap Snap. That's usually what I use for straps around the character. That's a really good one. Yeah, and then control shift to wrap it around the handle. Yeah, you can do that too. Yeah, let's do that right now, actually. So then what I could do is... I could just do this. Actually, you know what? Nice, Marcelo. Nice. That's way easier. So much easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Marcelo. You win. You win this one, buddy. Yeah, that's way better, dude. Whoa. I think it's, did I change my draw size? No. There we go. Yeah. 
This is going to be way easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Marcelo. You, you win this one, buddy. You win this one. <coughs> way easier. Okay, so uh, what I'm doing here is uh, I'm using the curve strap, right? And I have something that's, um, so they can basically just draw, and then if I hold down shift and pull it outside of the uh, model, it'll create uh, a full loop around your model. And that's basically what I'm doing. I'm keeping the same brush size, and then uh, just do alt-click to cancel the, um, the curve. Right? It's so funny, like they keep they keep um releasing new stuff. And you're just like, you know what? Like there's so much that <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> and it's, and you can change these two if you want, you know, while it's still active. And then uh let's just do auto groups. And then we'll do split hidden. Wood, wood, wood. ZBrush is life. You are correct. You know you have a problem when you have a ZBrush tattoo. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Alright, so now we got these guys <coughs> and these dudes. And then now basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my um, move topological brush. And then I'm just, because I can grab any one of these. And then we could just start adjusting. <laughs> it's a briefcase for Fantastic Beasts. Uh, that's very true. Very true. <laughs> Now, what we could do is let's just take, let's take this one. Let's just turn this off for now. That, one, that one's dumb. So let's grab this dude. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this guy to make my life way easier. And then I'm just going to rotate that 360 degrees. 180, sorry. 180? Hey, that'd be awesome if you could do 180. That'd be fantastic. Just can we just do that? No, of course not. Why? Why would we be able to do that? Okay, let's go back to the center. Change that. Now we should be able to do 180. There we go. And then let's just bring that down a little bit more. <laughs> I know, right? I don't even get to use all the 4R8 stuff. Now they give us new. What the hell, man? What the hell? So just pull some of these out, randomize them a little bit. Learn to love the cones, that's all I gotta say. Learn to love the cones. ZBrush has always been known for intuitive uh, and interesting uh, UI, but it works. 
just got to give it to a man. It works. Let's move this guy up a little bit. I can see it being a little bit confusing if you're colorblind, for sure. So then I'll spend just a little bit of time kind of making sure these are interesting enough. Maybe we'll push some of these in. Okay, got some straps. And maybe what I'll do is I'll Grab this, duplicate that, pull some of this down here. Grab this dude, duplicate, bring that down here. No, not that one. Let's duplicate. Twills Bach, what's up, buddy? How are you, sir? You take the cones and you love the cones. You do it. <sighs> All right, we'll do this one. Grab this guy. We're going to duplicate him. And then we'll bring him down. Down, down here. Cool. Look, we got straps. I think we could just fix this dude a, a little bit more. <laughs> I'm great. The sun is hot. The pool is cold, and the printer is finally working. <laughs> That's life, right? Uh, I'm sure some some people will be doing demos uh, for 2018. It still doesn't come out for another three and a half hours, so I do not get to play with it this morning. But I've been playing with it for the last month or so, so I'm I'm I'm, I'm okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Let's actually instead of these being actual spheres, let's flatten these a touch, a touch. Flatten some more. And then we'll bring them. That feels better. Life is good, man. Like, dude, we just got another a new ZBrush drop. Dude, life is good. Let's divide these ones. There we go. Let's go back here. I think this is really missing some some details. It's kind of hurting. Hurting. A little hurting. Let's do this. Let's make this look better. So I do have to, um, I got to wrap it up a little bit early today, guys. So I'm going to try to get a little bit more of this kind of finalized before, before we call it. Yeah, I can't wait to see what everybody else starts doing with it too, you know? <laughs> All right, so let's start beating this up a little bit. Just give a little bit of surface variation here. Oh, James, dude, what's up, man? 
<laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, dude, that was that was that was fun, man. It's always cool. Meet meeting peeps in real time. How are you, man? Hope things are well. Oh, we gotta do this too. We we'll get a little bit of <clears throat> I don't really have enough on there. Maybe I could just divide that one. Sculpting and watching. Yep. It's it's a, it's, it's also called work and lurk. <laughs> yeah, that movie's good, dude. I, I enjoyed the Tomb Raider movie. It's fun. It was a, it was a nice, good new take on, uh, on things. And I, I like I like Alicia. She's I think she I think she did well as Laura. Um, in case you guys don't know what we're talking about, uh, so I'm I've been working at uh, Crystal Dynamics for the last I don't even know how since uh, November. Um, and uh, as you all know. They they did the um, Tomb Raider reboot. So when uh, the new Tomb Raider movie came out, they um, they rented the theater for us so we could go watch the movie. So we got to um, got to see the Tomb Raider movie. It was fun. It was good. I, I enjoyed it. I mean, I, w I went back and watched a little bit of um, the uh, the old one with um, what's her face. And uh, it's it's it, the new one's definitely better. <laughs> Ashen, what's up, man? How are you, buddy? Work and lurk, bro. It's all about work and lurk. What you doing? Work and lurking. What you doing? Uh, it's work and lurking. What you doing? Yeah, Angelina. Thank you. I dude, it's early. You don't have to excuse me. Brain doesn't. Work. You're lucky you're getting art at this early, <laughs> and and some audio. All right, do just a little bit of integration stuff here. And again, I don't I don't mind doing this in uh, symmetry because you're never really going to see both of them at the same time. So I, I want to make sure that it doesn't creep too far. But yeah, I think she did really awesome as a new um, Laura Croft. Uh, screaming, what's up, buddy? How are you, man? Ah, oh, dude, I every every time I every time I stream, it's like, man, I really want to um get back and doing streaming on my own on my own channel again. I miss hanging out with everybody and listening to music. That's always fun. Like, oh wait, that's right. There's no music. What the hell? Excuse me. Let's clean a little bit of this up. Right, music. I I haven't I toyed around with the idea of trying to get some music going, but I just don't feel like I don't feel like you guys would get the same experience, you know? You're listening to the smooth sounds of Brendan Isaiah Bangston, art of. Get just a little, maybe a little bit, of, a little crack down here. We'll get a little crack. A little crack. But how's that look? Yeah, exactly. And it's not can. It's not. Uh, it's not interfering with your guys's music. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> Turn into Bob Ross. <laughs> little crack down here. It's happy little crack. Let's just bring one more of those cracks in. It'll be good. I 
Okay, so I think we can just hammer away on these a little bit real quick, and I think we, we could call it close to... Let's uh, maybe divide one more time. Yeah. Yeah, I keep I keep hearing that this guy looks like me. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Just joking. Uh Josh in yeah. Alright. We've got a weapon. What do you guys think? Um, Shadow is actually the, um, um, sister company. Skeenix. <sighs> yeah, I look like a fat Asian guy with a warhammer. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, I think, um, that was fun. Yeah, I like, I like doing the, the hammer. Montreal, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Montreal. That's the one. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else we can get through here real quick. Let me just clean up a little bit of this. A little bit of this. Clean up some of that. What's up, Mord? How you doing, buddy? Maybe we could do is... Maybe we could do just like a little, uh, this little tail fly-off thing. Maybe we could just do that. Maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll just do that real quick. That one's easy. So brush, and go back to my curve snap, and then maybe what I'll do is just grab a little... Like that. Maybe, uh, I think what we did was 10. Draw size 10. Um, K9, are you talking to me or are you talking to somebody else? Are you talking to me, man? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Hmm? Let's actually bring this up here like this. Like this. Maybe we'll actually... Bring it up like that. Mang? Are you talking to me, Mang? <laughs> There's actually, it's it's actually spelled M-A-I-N-G. Mang? Mang? What you talking about, Mang? Uh, yeah, I know I, um, I work for a studio. I work for Crystal, Crystal Dynamics. Crystal. So yeah, let's throw this underneath. And then we could just grab this and pull this off like that. Yeah, very fortunate. Uh, the um, Crystal family is a, is a really good family. So I'm, I'm very uh, fortunate to have, have landed there after the visceral uh, debacle. Let's do this. We're just gonna rotate this guy and move him like that. Um, I did actually start uh, extracting them, but uh, Marcellus Wallace had a much, much better idea. Um, and I'm always up for hearing ideas. So, um, so what we did was we just used the um, the curved strap snap 
curve strap snap. Yo, curve strap snap. Guess we're working on the new Shadow of the Tomb Raider, right? No, I am not. You guys actually want to see the project I'm working on? All right, let me see. We'll do it. We'll do a quickie here. Um. Well, it's it's really quick. You'll wait for the ad. Come on. This is what we're working on. And why is there no sound? Why is there no sound? There, you guys could watch it on your own with sound. Yeah, this is the project I'm working on. It has really cool sound. You should listen to it. There you go. There's a, there's a sound. <laughs> yeah, that's the project I'm working on. So straps. Um, yeah, man, I'm very, very fortunate. Straps. The way that we did the straps, uh, real quick, who was it? Uh, TS, that's right. Um, so we grab the curve strap snap, and basically what we'll do is um, we're going to draw, and then we're going to hold down shift, and then draw outside of this, and it'll create a loop. And then boom, there you go. Yeah, there's there's not much to show for it. All right, James. Take it easy, buddy. Thanks for coming by, man. Always good to see you. Again, uh, hold down shift. So start the curve, hold down shift, and then pull outside of your model, and it will create uh, a curve around that. Yep. We'll credit that one to uh, Marcelo. That was a good, that was a good find, buddy. Good find. Okay, I'm going to push this back underneath, like that. Yeah, we'll say that's good. All right, I do have to wrap it up early, guys. Um, but, yeah, we did we did that whole weapon uh, in about an hour and a half. And I feel it's... You could use a little bit more love, like, down here. Um, maybe do some final stuff up here. And then... Um, do a little bit more to this piece, and I think uh, it'd probably be ready to send on down the um, the production pipeline. Uh, what kind of rig did I use? I don't. Uh, I'm, I didn't use a rig. For what were you talking about? Dank. Uh, so much time wasted on belts for nothing, and it's only going to get better in ZBrush 2018. Oh, I can't wait to play with that. Can't wait to play with it. It's amazing. Awesome. All right, ladies and gents. Um, I think we're gonna call it. Yeah, man. Um, it was really got. It's awesome to have you guys here. As always. Um, looking forward to what everybody's going to be doing uh, with the new 2018. As soon as you guys get that all installed today, it's gonna be amazing. Um, but uh, I hope you guys had fun. I uh, hope you guys learned a thing or two. And uh, most of all, I hope you're inspired to go make your own cool stuff. So go get the new 2018. If you haven't purchased uh, ZBrush, now is the time because the price is going to go up soon. Um, so do it. Do it. I believe that they're actually giving you the chance to upgrade from ZBrush Core to the full um to the full ZBrush as well, so check that out. Um, we've also got some really amazing streamers coming up uh, today and over the next couple of days, so take a look. Um, keep an eye out for people that are going to be streaming specific, like 
uh, ZBrush 2018 stuff. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. Thanks again, everybody, for um, all the support and all the awesome uh, hangouts and all the awesome questions. Um, I'll take you guys soon. See you on the interwebs. All right, guys. Later.